Okay, now we're going to tap the pattern and try to get that out without causing any major damage. Looks like it's nice and loose. Blew all the loose sand out of that. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but that's the uh, pattern. Looks pretty nice and smooth in there. So we should be about ready to pour. I gotta put this down straight, which has been a challenge for me in the past. So we're ready to pour. I try to pour the pewter at about 550 degrees, which is right about where it's at now. Um, and I'll go ahead and... It does have a little bit of a jump on the top of it. So I'll go ahead and scoop that off. Here we go. Now I've got to wait for it to cool and see how it turned out. Okay, now it's time for the shakeout. Most fun part. See what what we got. Okay. Yay! Looks like everything filled. The runners look like they filled. Or I should say the scratch vents. And our uh, clapper. Looks like that might be a usable clapper. And the valve. See why I had to put it down in the drag a little bit farther because there wasn't really a whole lot of room above that in this uh, particular flask. 
and it looks good. Okay, what I'll do to put this together is I'll cut this screw off and drill a hole right through the center and then this little eye bolt will go up through there and I'll tap the handle so that it can screw right into the handle and then the clapper will actually go through the eye bolt and of course I'll grind it down so it fits better. Uh, and I'll round the clapper and form it a little bit, but then once this gets pulled up into the bell, that will hold, the clapper won't be able to slide out of place, and it'll be able to swing in all directions. Um, so I guess that's it.